ladies and gentlemen. He fought his heart out against the glitz and glamour of Las Vegas, Nevada in the United States of America. But he's back here where he belongs in the United Kingdom. Please welcome the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, the one, the only, Leonard Lewis. Lennox brought four belts back to England, man. You comfortable, man? Yeah, man. So, Len, because I know, because cause I know, Len, because you're a real close friend of mine. <laughs> Finally, you know, your dream, you know, all the, growing up and wanting to be the champion of the world, saying it to everybody from the outset, it's done. How'd you feel, my friend? Don't get no bigger than this. <laughs> yeah. So, what have you been? What have you been? Because, like, you know, we're, we're expecting that you was going to be back here straight away and, you know, everything, but you weren't here. Was you frustrated that you couldn't come back straight away? No, the problem was, is, uh, I still had to get the IBF belt. I didn't want to leave the uh, United States without bringing all the belts back, because that was my mission in the first place. So. Don King had it in his house, didn't he? <laughs> He had, some, he had some influence on it. And uh, then I had to go to uh, see Michael Grant, an upcoming heavyweight who HBO probably want me to box against next. To be honest, he's not a worthy opponent for you, Matt. No, for me, I would rather box the guys in my era, like Mike Tyson. I think he's the last, per last person in my era. And, uh, you know, he's been in that situation before. And uh, I think Styles make fights. I know that his fans out there want to see the matchup between him and and me and my fans, I know they want to see me box Mike Tyson as well. It's true, right? Yeah. But you know, what about the fight? Do you think the fight was, it was a lot closer than the first one? It, yeah, it was a lot closer. This time I wanted to get a lot closer to the situation and, and try and take him out. Because uh, after the last fight, everybody was saying, boy, you won the fight, but you should have knocked him out. But before, when I went into the fight, in the original style, they, uh, they said I wasn't even supposed to go past the eighth round. Then all, all of a sudden, I win the fight, hands down. They said, well, you did win the fight. Why didn't you knock him out? So, you know, people are never pleased. But, uh, you know, I've got the belts now to prove it. Yeah. <laughs> Going through the, the fight and that, you know, the seventh, eighth in that round when it was getting a bit close and I was, you know, I was hiding under a pillar and everything. You know, thinking, oh my God, what are you doing, Len? What are you doing? And then you say, I was luring him in. Had you fooled? You had me fooled, man. What happened was, um, you know, I realized in the first fight he was, uh, you know, he was playing possum a lot. Because any time Evander Holyfield throws a combination, he always gets tired. So, and I remember in training camp, uh, Emmanuel Stewart said, Boy, you know, you're so good, you can just go out there and just put your hands up and just block everything. So, uh, you know, I took that into effect and this time I tried it. And it did, it got him tired. But what he was trying to do, he was trying to hit me to the body and, and, and then go over the top. But his body punches when even getting through. Now that you've got all the belts and you are the undisputed, which I'm really proud to be able to just say, um, what about the, some offers? You had any offers? Bruce Willis checked Bruce, you out. Bruce, Bruce, the Willis, fight uh, Bruce came to the fight and uh, he came and he was watching the fight. He definitely wants me to be in his next movie, which is uh, good. I, I, first thing I said, am I going to die in it? Because <laughs> that's the worst thing. You don't want to go in a movie and, and die, all of a sudden man. die. <laughs> It'd be hard to kill you as well. How can someone kill you as well? Look at the size That's of you. That's what man. I'm talking about. You know? What about the ladies, Len? <laughs> Is that Lennox Lewis, the married man, the children want to see them grow yeah, up? Yeah, definitely, and... eventually. Uh, <laughs> definitely, eventually. Wait a minute, Len. What, what is that to woo about? 
Why are you wooing? <laughs> but can you see a little Lennox in a little Lennox set? Yes. <laughs> Most definitely. To give your because your mum must you know want some little Lennox grandchildren. I was, Lennox's mum's here, lovely vibes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm thinking, I'm sitting here, and I'm seeing four belts, and, you know, Alex Ferguson, I have to say, a man I respect a lot, he, his, team, his team done the treble. And being the only British fighter, British fighter, um, to win the undisputed heavyweight titles, all of them, I stress, surely the, somebody from the Parliament or oh, Buckingham Palace has got to give us a Sir Lennox Lewis. <laughs> In fact, I'm not even going to call him nothing else but Sir Lennox from that because <laughs> the thing is, if he can't get knighted while he's young, give it to him when he's now 75. <laughs> yeah, see him. Knight him while he's young, Your Majesty. I know you're watching. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because you know, if somebody deserves that kind of uh, honor, it's got to be my man, Lennox Lewis. Tom Jones and Lennox Lewis. <laughs> so, this is real interesting stuff now because, Len, you wanted Tom to actually sing you into the ring for your fight. Right. What happened with that? Uh, yeah, what happened with that, Tom? Well, I was, I was, <laughs> no, I was on the road. I was doing some one nighters in, in the States. And that's why I couldn't, I couldn't get to the fight. I would have loved to have been there, though. I thought it must have been done. The, 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 the fight before, you know, when you, when you first yeah. uh, fought Holyfield, we went to a sports bar. I was on the road again, you know, and doing some one night. So as soon as I finished the show, we got into this uh, sports bar to watch, you know, to watch the fight. And I thought, you know, he won the first mm -hmm. one. I mean, I, I was jumping up and down. I was going. And then they came on and said, I couldn't believe it. Being a quiet, kind of unassuming guy yourself, you know, what, what was your impressions of Vegas, this gambling place and, you know, it's a million mile an hour? Vegas has really blown up since I've been there before. I mean, they got everything. They got hotels, they got enough water in the place. It's, it's, to me, it's just like a desert. When you go there and you like hang out for like a couple of days, your skin gets dry and your lips feel dry. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah? You know, oh, yeah. People are coming there and they're just like, this is the place they want to live. They want to live in the desert and this is what it does to you. Yeah, they've got to bring the water in, as you're saying. Now they've, because they were worried about they didn't have enough water because of the sprinkling systems and all the stuff that they've got to use because it's getting bigger all the time. So they've got to bring the water in because it's a desert. What about your boxing heroes, Muhammad Ali? Yeah. You know what I mean? His man oh, he was definitely my hero. Uh, uh, that's what actually started me in boxing. Um, and then at, when I was actually boxing, my heroes were like uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, Roberto Duran, mm -hmm. Thomas Hitman Hearns. Those middleweights, marvelous Marvin Hagler. I love to to uh, watch those guys. Well, Tom, you you've sparred, you've sparred with Without Muhammad Ali. <laughs> yeah, that is <laughs> awesome. What, what what was he doing that for? Was just a laugh? Was he messing? Yeah, I, I went up to his uh, to his camp, you know, to his training camp. So he said, "You want to come in?" And I said, "Yeah, as long as you don't, you know, be careful." <laughs> for so so, it's, so I'm in there with him, you know, and he's a, he's a big guy, you know what I mean? So. Uh, he said, just throw, just throw something at me. And I said, what, 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 what do I do? You know, what are we, what are we going to do? So he said, just throw it. So I, I, <laughs> I put a left jab and a right cross, and they both connected, you see? So his, his, his um, reflexes, he went, Pew! you know, and just <laughs> hit me with his, in the, in the <laughs> And I said, whoa, you know, it was supposed to be a, a joke, but his reflexes were so fast because I, you know, he, he hit me. But yeah. not hard, thank God. It was just, <laughs> just a tap, but that was enough. <laughs> My teeth went back in the, you know. What about growing up? You must have got in some punch-ups because you was a teddy boy. You know, just yeah. the way you look would have got you in punch-ups. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> My nose didn't always look like this. <laughs> I, had it, I had it fixed. It used to be over here. <laughs> <laughs> so what about, because uh, Tom's done a bit of boxing and that, what about yourself? Do you do some singing, like, in the car and... You, you know, I wish I could sing. My voice is terrible. Yeah, I wish I could sing. Yeah. Yeah. What about your mum? Your mum. Your mum must know Tom. Tom Jones. Yeah. She got any favorite? <laughs> what's it, any favorite Tom Jones? Delilah. Mrs. Lewis. Yeah. Delilah. Everybody loves Delilah. I saw the knife in her hand. 
You know, I wanted to ask you before that, uh, you know, ever think of doing a, a like a reggae song? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, if, the, if, it, if, it was a, if it was a good song, I like reggae. I yeah. think it's great music. It's uh, just getting the right song. And just bring right, back an old one right like treatment. you did with Kiss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe a Bob Marley, you know. You yeah, see. a real funky yeah. one, man. Or yeah. oh, one you can wind your ways to. Yeah. <laughs> you can wind his ways, man. You know, it's funny. With jo Joe Frazier, you know, because Joe used to sing. Yep. Yeah. And um, he, he played a, uh, the Flamingo in, in Vegas. And uh, I saw him after he did this show, and he, he broke his ankle on stage. So he, next time I saw him, he, he, he had his foot in plaster. I said, see, you thought boxing was hard, right? <laughs> I said, no. <laughs> this is what happens. What can I say, ladies and gentlemen, two legends on the same sofa. I say that I have a major, major respect for the man here. <laughs> Do you want to say the fight he had with Fernando Holyfield was... Well, it's you know, it's a good fight, but they say that the, the ding-dong that I had with Nigel was better. <laughs> was a better fight than Nigel, he said, Yeah! Listen, man, let me tell you, man. <laughs> The best fighter that has ever lived, listen to me, you know, because people say that the man, they say that the man, they say that the man, Princess he had me the better fight. I said, no, right? <laughs> oh, at least I'm the best at being the best at wishing. <laughs>